been calling for about 10 minutes and uh, it's really cold actually for calling um, but I'm in a public forest with permission and um, I've just been out early because this is like a, a main track but as you can see I've got a, a Christmas tree plantation and it, as you can see the damage that we're getting on the young trees is um, not acceptable so that's a perfect call book for us and um, it's a very early start um, but that's good He's a good one to take. Um, I've just seen that the, the, the deers took the bullet really well um, and I expected him to run. 
um, a short way because of how much adrenaline he was in, me calling him like I did. And um, yeah, so a good start to the morning. The police that we'll go and have a look. So. Uh, arterial blood but if you can see the damage that the uh, that the books especially these young books they fray on every blooming little tree they can because the tree's really sappy uh, oh, this is even wet here uh, really sappy and um, and, and, it, and it's it's really good for their antlers to get some scent on it and really send their antlers nice and dark but we just can't have it you know He's a little hooligan. So, uh, here's the strike and we've got frothy lung blood on there. And then arterial blood down here, so a good strike. We saw a good uh, bullet reaction from the uh, new Hornady CX bullet. Um, I'm using 165 grain in my 308. Um, and we're shooting a little um, Merkel K5 Kiplauf. Um, it was... 40 meters maximum, uh, and you can see the damage. Look here. This is what he's smashed off just in his in his temper. But uh, it'll damage all these trees. They don't just pick the same one. The next day they'll go to another tree. So uh, we're going to follow this bloodline in, and hopefully he should be 15, 20 meters that way. Plucking up the courage to go into the navigation where we were kids for a drink. <laughs> what are you fucking doing in here? still it's probably quarter to seven so uh, it's nice and cool in the woods uh, it's even cooler under in the shade under that tree so we just brought it back to the car quickly cleaned it out and uh, that mesh bag is so useful for uh, uh, summer stalking <coughs> when you get a lot of fly blow very very quickly that can be fly blown within half an hour so we can lose a carcass or have a lot of work cutting off the fly blow, washing the fly blow off. So we put it in there. It, it, it lays the fly blow onto the um, fly eggs onto the um, onto the netting, and you can wash that off, disinfect it. So uh, anyway, let's get going. This is the plan. We'll share it with you two. Um, we're going to drop down into a little valley where you can just see the sunlight in it uh, where I think the temperature is going to be a little bit higher it's, it's beautiful and um, we've got even though it's very thick and we're in the forest uh, we've got some um, little open areas where we've got some visibility so we're going to get ourselves in the shadows mm. find ourselves a little place do some calling for them.
the king step. Another book coming. Another book, I think. Anyway, I don't know if you saw that on film, but what happened was the doe was there with the kid. I started calling. Called the doe, then the book came out behind her, but obviously if she's got a kid with her, she's uh, she's not in rut mode. He was just kind of hanging around. He's only got, he's got like a malform on one side from what I can see and then a, and a three on the other side, so uh, he's in this beautiful valley. Good one, mate. Reload. That's it, he's gone, he's down. Great shot. Well done, Anthony. He, he took some fetching, didn't he? Yeah. see the spike but I couldn't see that oh look at this oh. well that took us half an hour 40 minutes to get this book and uh, if you can see look at that beautiful malform all I could see when he was coming is about 100 120 meters onto this bank and he stayed in the thick cover and uh, oh Anthony that's, that's awesome amazing, isn't it? <laughs> 
fantastic. fantastic. I do like the word fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that's a belter. So, um, this has got a really nice story to it because we started calling and a doe came. And uh, this is a lovely bank um, that's been previously clear felled and uh, there's some regeneration softwoods here. Um, out of the uh, mature, dark um, pines behind came the doe, followed by the book. Then I saw she got the kid with her, so I thought, well, she's obviously not in rutting mood if she's got the kid with her. And off she went, she came to the call, but he's still milled around up here. And then I thought the doe had ran off because he went charging off after a deer, but it wasn't. It must have been a younger buck coming in and, uh, and we lost them. So I carried on, carried on. Many people would have packed up then, but I carried on calling. I thought, he's going to come back here. And sure enough, he came back straight into the same place and down onto this bank. And he would not come. And she was to our left. And you even think another deer mm, came in. I, I didn't see third, that. I was concentrating I on the book. Came to the and um, he was picking his way, picking his way. And we had to move slightly. He had to get Ant into position. And there was just this gap in the trees. And he presented himself for just probably a two metre slot to have a shot at. Mm. And um, the shot's a little bit back. Um, and there's plenty of room and content here, but he's, because uh, the shot was a little bit back, I mean, his, his ribs are here, so he's uh, 10 centimetres up into his body, but he just sank him, didn't he? Mm. And he, um, it was a, um, uh, a strange bullet reaction, um, although the bullet's done a good job. Um, and he sank down, and then he expired. But, um, oh, fantastic book, mate. What a great Jeez, memory. So we've had a little cool book to start with and, a, and, and an awesome memory. And it'll uh, be interesting to see in a minute when we get him out what his teeth are like. But, mm. uh, yeah, I wonder what's happened here. Frost yeah. damage or... Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, nice. As though it's... We do love a malform. Yeah. And age-wise, Owen, how, what would you... Ooh, difficult to say. Honestly, four. Mm. The better looking at his teeth. He's still yeah. got plenty of pedicle on there. Yeah. But, um, but what a book! What a book! And he would cast. He would cast this and regrow. But hey, yeah, I've got to shoot some books in this wood. This is a new piece of woodland we've taken on, and um, we've, this is the first time out really in the rut. We've been doing quite a bit of recon and looking around, but it's really thick in here at the moment. So I thought, well. We've got to shoot some row, and we've got um, a few Christmas tree plantations within this big block, and um, got to get some numbers down. So I thought we'd come in. It's early rut, and um, we've done two calls and two books, haven't we? So uh, mm. I think we'll go for a third and see how we get yes, on. Yes, indeed. <laughs> right, let's get him out. Well done. Let's put your little branch in because he's definitely worth the branch. Awesome. Awesome. What a great one. Yeah. Right, get yourself knelt down. Let's try and get the, let's see, get the K5 over your knee. As you can see, temperature's going up. It's probably 20 degrees, so 12, 14 degrees when we first come into the wood. Now probably 20, and uh, it's getting a bit warm now, isn't it? So uh, it's about nine o'clock, which would normally be a good time to call, but uh, done two or three spots now, and absolutely no reaction, not even a munch out coming. So, uh, but it, it's a public forest, and uh, it may be the fact that at that time it's busy with people. We've only seen two people walking the dogs but uh, it might be that that just switches them off a little bit but uh, we'll continue i'm going to go and try and find a little bit of a cooler place i know there's a kind of a dark shadowy place try and bit of corner in there see what we get so come on anthony yes 